Dallas News Nation Now, a winter storm dropping snow and ice also sent temperatures plunging across the southern plains, prompting a power emergency in Texas a day after conditions canceled flights and impacted traffic across large swaths of the U.S. Rotating power outages were initiated by the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, early Monday morning, meaning thousands went without electricity for short periods as temperatures fell into the teens near Dallas and 20s around Houston. We urge Texans to put safety first, the council tweeted as it urged residents to reduce electricity use. ERCOT manages the flow of electric power in the state. Traffic lights and other infrastructure may be temporarily without power, ERCOT said. The council described the rotating outages as a last resort to preserve the reliability of the electric system as a whole, adding that utility transmission companies are tasked with determining how to reduce demand on the system. Every grid operator and every electric company is fighting to restore power right now, ERCOT president and CEO Bill McNeese said in a statement. The rotating outages were expected to last throughout Monday morning. Nearly 2.6 million customers in Texas were in the dark as of 8.20 a.m. Central Standard Time, according to PowerOutage.us, a utility tracking site. Around 5,000 Oklahoma gas and electric customers were without power overnight, and Energy Arkansas logged about 3,000 outages. Both states have much smaller populations compared with Texas. Officials in Houston had warned people to prepare for outages and hazardous roads, conditions similar to what residents might see in the wake of a Category 5 hurricane. There have been numerous reports of accidents from icing recently, National Weather Service lead forecaster Bob Oravik said Monday. I think there's going to be a big threat today as the system pushes northeastward. Accumulating ice between a tenth and a quarter of an inch 0.25 and 0.6 centimeters was possible across eastern Louisiana, Mississippi, central Tennessee, Kentucky and over into the West Virginia and Ohio border region, Oravik said. Up to 12 inches 30 centimeters of snow was expected across parts of the southern plains into Monday, said Mark Chenard, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center. Nearly 120 crashes, including a 10-car pileup on I-45, were reported Sunday, Houston Fire Chief Samuel Pena tweeted. Significant ice and up to 12 inches of snow were expected across parts of the southern plains into Monday, said Mark Chenner, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center. Typically, we just don't have quite this much cold air in place that far south, Chenner said. The region had been gearing up for the winter weather for the better part of the weekend. Texas Gov.